uh, definition. It requires an external definition. So I can, my rationality tells me that I cannot self-create myself. Neither I cannot come from nothing. So the plausible option, there must be an external cause which brings everything into existence. Yes. Now, when we define that external cause, what is the nature of that cause? That cause must be all-knowing. Do you go by that? To a certain extent, of, I, I, believe, I believe there's a higher, there's a higher purpose. I believe there is a higher being, mm. but I do believe it's a lot of it's on random. I do believe it's completely random. Uh, when you say in random, terms of, in terms of, um, there are people that say I've had hardships because of this reason, that reason. I believe it's to a certain extent within what you've done will lead to where you get. But I think that the, the higher being as such allows you to be what you want to make yourself to be. If you, if you know what I mean? I, so I, are you in, referring... As in, as in to, if I... There's a lot of people, bad stuff happens to them. They say, oh, that's because of God. But they've done nothing wrong. Whereas I think if you, if say me, I'm a hard working man, I work really hard. I work super, super hard. And then good stuff happens. That's me being a good person, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I see where you're getting. So in order to understand that from an Islamic standpoint, it's very simple. So we go by step by step. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll address your question. I'm not running away. No, I'm, I, I definitely remember your question. But it will be automatically answered when I come to that stage anyway. Yep. So do you believe that the, the, the being that you ascribe to did that being have the all-knowing abilities? No. Where, where do you I, see it's absent? That, I think that nothing knows everything and everything is perfect. Now imagine if something creates something. Yep. If you create something, yep. you would have to know... You'd have to know everything about that thing. Let's say... You get me? Yeah, you should know everything about that thing. For example... But you don't know everything of everything. So I, I, I think that we were put here to learn the things that they didn't know. Okay, I'll, I'll put it in a very basic example. Yep. Let's say this universe is like a ball. Yep. Yeah? And everything inside it, so the ball and the ins everything inside it, you agree that, that an external agent, they created, the external agent created the ball and everything inside it. Yeah, I believe something created it. Something. I'm not going to say a certain being. I'm not going to say something created it. So how do you... It can't come from nothing. No, so you neither, agree, yes, you you, this is the, uh, yes, and yeah. nor self-creation is possible. No, so you can't come from Yeah, nothing. so there must be a being who created. There would have been a one, that become a two, that become a three, that become a four. No, so but, I mean? no, but there, there is a problem with this multiple a agent. What is the problem? You tell me, I want you to think. Um, but we all come from someone. We didn't come from nowhere. But if there is two being, if there is two being, then they create four being. If there is two being, there is already two will there. Yep. There is two intention there. So if there is two will, two intention, then it will normally contradict each other. Sometimes? Yes. So sometimes, therefore, yeah. Sometimes, yes, sometimes. Yes. Yeah. So this is a very Quranic argument. Allah said, in the Quran, Allah said actually, Allah said, لَوْ كَانَ فِيهِمَا آلِهَةٌ إِلَّا اللَّهُ لَفَسَدَتَ Had there been more than one creator in two reality, yeah. the universe will have chaos and corruption. Just like two, two, two prime ministers in a country would have chaos because one prime minister would say, no, I want... Hence the joint government being a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah. But I'm not going to that discussion with political one. So therefore, it necessitates there is a uniqueness of single creator. My, my problem with it is I don't believe that any one thing is right. And I believe that, say, me and you, together, we may be right on a subject, but you may be wrong on something that I'm right on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I, I think what, what it does, uh, the problem is this is called anthropomorphism. 
I don't, you know this familiar with this term. Anthropomorphism is something you thinking about human attribute to compare to human uh, God attribute. So, in 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 Islamic discourse, the God is knower of everything. Even a a leaf does not fall from the tree without the permission of God. Meaning, he knows everything. So I cannot say God is ignorant of what is creation. Can I say uh, he is a God but he doesn't know? It doesn't make sense. So in order to create something, first you have to have that knowledge. And we are saying, I'm, I'm saying, when you look at human being, we say you will find human being doesn't know everything. But when you're talking about a higher being who created everything in, in, in the design, he must know things by default. Okay. Okay, so I understand that statement. So my point is, so me, I'm a father, I have a little girl. I created my little girl through acts of my own, not through no one else's. My acts of my own create my little girl. I created my little girl, so I created life. No, no. I, I have put her, I am the reason she's here, but I do not know everything. And I'm not a perfect parent. Right. My point is, I'm not a perfect parent. And, and have you got kids yourself? Yeah, I have two. So when you have children, you do not know everything. Right, okay, fine. And you learn as you Beautiful go along. example, so you, beautiful. So you get me I'll, I'll use the same you example. Do not, you uh, do not understand everything, you learn yeah. as you go along. So, okay, so that's what, let me specify. There's a beautiful example you yep. brought. When our parents give us birth, they are the median, they are a way. They are not the creator. So one thing, a process, and one thing is a creator. When I create something, I must know something. If I don't know something, I'm not the creator. Let's say, for example, when a, a, a construction, a building has been made, yep. the engineer can define the plan because before the, the building actually actualized yep. in a full form, full form of construction, yep. the engineer already knows the plan. He knows yep. prior to that. So that's called his creation or his assembly or whatever you can say. But when it comes to the creation of man, we didn't know that drop that created. Do you have, you know, an ejaculation happen? Yep. There are many, many microorganisms, many micro cells out there, right? Yeah. You do not even know which one actually responsible for making the baby. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, no, I the, the, re the reason. Yeah, it's a random chance. Yes. Right. So we cannot call ourselves creator. What we say is we are the process. We are a median that the someone else would come. It does not necessarily mean a creator, meaning is not only just able to create, is also have to know what he is creating. If I do not know the things, what I am creating, then I am not a creator. Creator does not necessarily mean that just to create something. He must have to know what he is creating. I, I completely agree. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I yeah, yeah. I, I Personally, I think it's more of a chance, randoms. I, be, I believe in uh, probability, mm. those sort of things. Um, but more of my battle is, I would completely be on board with there being a higher purpose, an all-knowing everything God, should we say, whether that be any religion. Yeah. But my problem is, the bad things that come with it. So you completely understand me? So I, I, I'm sure you agree um, with religion. It, it seems to me personally that all of the bad things that go on in this world are due to arguments over, over religions and over gods. So if, if God was the all-seeing and all-knowing everything and uh, the, the love of God that everyone says, there should be no, there should be no Palestine. There should be none of that going on because, because there's, if there's only one God, then why have we got these problems with religion? Why have we got these one, two, three, four, five religions that yeah. all, they all believe in a higher being? And yeah. I completely respect that there is, everyone believes in a yeah. higher being, but there shouldn't be these bad things happening. There yeah. shouldn't be children with cancer. There shouldn't be all these bad things going yeah. on currently in Israel, Palestine. Um, that wouldn't be a thing because. Yeah. Otherwise, I know people say, oh, it's a test, it's, it's this, it's that, it's, 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 a, it's a, um, I think, I think there is so many, so many points you response. mentioned. Yeah, there is, it's a response to, you know, our behavior, our sins and all yeah. those sort of things. Yeah. But I completely disagree. I think I, that's the thing for me. That is a sticking point for me um, as a person. And I'm sure you're exactly the same. We, I wouldn't wish 
cancer, I won't wish warfare, I won't wish on anybody. So okay. I don't understand why, no, I, I, in those positions of ultimate power, yeah. why would you be that person that sticks that, Fine. or that, that being, should mm. we say, the same yeah. beings, that sticks that on, mm. on okay. us? I mean, I'll address to your first question. You know, yeah. when we look at the creation, mankind, yep. in general, you have mankind good and bad. Yeah. And and the people in this world are all created by the same. Is that what uh, you're saying? Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. The, the same. Do you disagree there is no creator? I I don't know. So I mean, that look. That's where I sit. I sit on exactly, the exactly. I don't the the, the sure? No, I mean, if I explain to you that Allah created us for a purpose and He will test us, that will make no sense to you. Do you know why? Because you will have a fundamental issue to agreeing there is a higher being. Meaning, your idea is more absurd than mine. Where I am saying, my, my duty is I am a created being and I have a maker and God created for a test. And in this life, I will be tested. So in this world, I will not get justice. No human soul would get justice. That's I can understand. And because Allah tells us in the day of judgment and then you will be a paradise and hellfire and every will be, everyone will recompensate it, compensate it enough so that it reconciles. So that's mean it's not an injustice for me. But the problem for an atheist is problematic because first of all, the person doesn't believe in God. Secondly, it doesn't believe in the hereafter, I mean the day of judgment, resurrection. I would like to believe it. Right, exactly. Like, now, like that's believe. why, that's why it's important yeah. to understand from the totality of the picture. Let's say, let me draw the scenario. You, let's say you're a believer in God and you suffer in this world. But there are heaven and hell, which is truth. And anything you suffer, Allah will compensate it for it. More than the compensation. Would you be sad? In this world, yes. No, you don't be. In this world, we would be sad. No, no, no. But you know... In the other world... Yeah. No. Right. Because you're compensated. Compensated, right. So therefore, if you know in this world that you will get compensated, then you, your suffering will be ease. If you are in the pain, you will think, okay, I will get a high reward, right? Within reason, yes. Yes, right. Exactly. That is exact, precisely my point. So in order to have come to a reconciliation with the believer, first we need to look into the, the, the position of your own understanding in terms of the existence of God. You cannot say God is the creator at the same time he doesn't know. It doesn't make sense. That's why I'm saying it is... In Islam, we have something called Aqidah, which is the oneness of God. The definition of the creator, that being, has been explained throughout the Quran. Allah saying he is someone who knows and sees everything. He controls everything. He, he created this universe for a purpose. He will test you people. But he also mentioned that in this lot of calamity happened in this world because of what our hand has been done. Meaning, imagine if we cut too many trees, if we do too many pollution, and then, then the bad ray from the sun hit the baby, yep. and the baby got cancer. Should we blame God or should we blame our discipline? Do you see my the problem? I, I see. I yeah, see. exactly. So therefore, we cannot certainly show that what is doing by God and what is doing because of our own hand. Now, in order to solve that problem, we all have to go to see whether this is happening or not. But we are not doing that. No, so I, I agree with him reason, but I think it allows a certain amount of no accountability. So if I do wrong in this world, you, I, I, I feel like you should be accountable for your wrong in this world. And or if bad things happen, you should be accountable for those bad things happening because of you not be able to blame, shall I say, on it's not my fault. So that in, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So Islam put a burden on everyone. Yep. Islam said no one will be punished for someone else's sin. Everyone will be accountable for their own sin. So for yep. example, we have own, our own burden within ourselves. Yep. So if, if God has given a guidance, a criterion, a guidance, a, a legislation to see whether you're obedient or disobedient. Yep. And that is your test. If you pass the test, God will show his mercy. If you fail the test, God will apply his mercy in his best ability. But if 
and still that you chose to follow, you chose to go to the hellfire, God cannot do anything. So Allah is keep telling, reminding people about all those rational arguments in the Quran. You will Allah saying, "Afar aitum ma tum noon." Have you seen that ejected fluid that made you? The argument I given it to you before. So Allah is asking the created fluid that created you, and then He said, "Ang tum takhlukuna hu amnahnul khaliqun." Is it that you create yourself and am I the creator? So you know, imagine if parents are thinking, I am making that baby, then they have to have an imaginary picture before the baby comes. The baby will be look like this. His, he will have full 12 teeth. His face will be longer. His uh, lips will be red. His hair will be brown. No, they cannot predict none of them. Nothing. Why? Because they do not have the knowledge of the baby. So what it, it signifies that they are not the creator of the baby, rather they are the median and they are the way they, Allah used them to give them the baby. Does it make sense? It makes sense for memory, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very much, um, I'm very on the fence. I'm, I'm completely open to everything. Yeah. So I have a Muslim guy who, well, I have a guy who works for me whose wife is Muslim, so I guess he's a revert mm. Muslim, so I completely, I have no problems with his religion and his beliefs, and we, we speak about them a lot. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to give you that I argu within, argument. I think within reason, I don't think that anyone is ever right. So I think I'm very much, I sit on the fence because I think that it is our sort of entitlement. So if you say, so going back to your points, are we created for, for our challenges? So today is one of my challenges. And one of my challenges is obviously you to me. Of your, your but don't, don't, you, don't you believe, my, don't you believe the higher being, what is the reason of his creating you and me? I don't know. Either has a purpose. I don't think that anyone knows. No, 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 no. I'm saying. Yeah, no, no. Let's not say not anyone knows. Let's say what are the plausible possibility. Either he created for fun, either he created for a purpose, or either created for no purpose. No one creates things for no purpose. So this is out of the window. Either he created for a purpose or created for a fun. So when we... Go on, Max. Come and join, man. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I think, I think let's have the friendly discussion here. So what we are saying is here, yes, where, where was I? Sorry, I, I, I lost the train of thought. Um, we were at a point of believing in, in why in why we are a thing. Yeah, so 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 the, either he created for a purpose or he created for a fun. Why should he create for fun? There is no reason he should create for fun. So therefore, it alludes to the fact he must create for a purpose. Now these purpose. How to know that purpose? There is two possibility. Either he come directly to tell us, or he communicate this. As we demonstrated in the beginning, we do not see God, and we cannot subjectively use our oh, God said to me. No, we need to have an objective evidence for this. So therefore, only plausible option left is God sent communicator, and we believe God sent human messenger. Harry, you have to go. Excuse me, I, I, very rude of me to interrupt, but you need to come. Maybe yeah. give me give me two minutes. Shall I give you a copy of the Quran? Okay. Yeah, let me. Why not? Can I can I have a copy of the Quran? Why not? Because I want I want I wanted to speak to you other matters as well, but yeah, since no, you are in rush. Yeah, no, that's fine. I completely understand. I'm learning Arabic, so I'm completely. Oh, you're learning I'm it. I'm learning Arabic. Oh, yeah. Okay. I am learning Arabic. But How? I want to be able to communicate with. More people. Yeah, well, well, how far are you now? Not very far. I'm not very okay, far. Hell. I started okay, in the last and on this basic one. No. Very, very basic. I've just started in the last sort of three, four months. I have been great because I've just started a business. But you know what I'm so gonna I'm say learning. to you? Tasharraf Tubik means nice to meet you. Okay. It's our pleasure to meet you. Tasharraf Tubik, yeah. Thank you. Look after yourself. Uh, so brother has 
a fundamental issue that he believed there is higher being, but he don't like to acknowledge the fact that the Creator is all knowing. And he said mm, partially, I would I say to him, how can a Creator create things without the full knowledge? You cannot divorce knowledge from his ability. So, uh, I mean, since he's in a rush. Um, I, I don't like to engage in more, but uh, I hope, you know, I hope that Allah guide him to Islam and he is learning Arabic as well, so I hope. And he has some Muslim friends, so let's make dua that may Allah guide him to Islam. Assalamu alaikum.